New information following this flooding in North Ridgeville back in May, heavy rains left homes swamped, but homeowners say something could have been done to stop it. Now, as Dave Arnold explains, they're taking action. When the rain falls gently on the pavement in North Ridgeville, emotional reactions are not so gentle. Stress level goes up, headaches start to happen. The ditches may be deep with standing water room only. But that downhill water may have had some of its history running through a Northview Circle home. We have had anywhere from probably 13 inches. Cassandra Willis has been in her condo for 13 years, 10 of those married. When it rains outside, more than water pours inside. We are talking f human feces. We have two children. We have a six and a half year old and a three and a half year old. And when my second child was born, I had a C-section, and I ended up with E. coli poisoning. So the problem here is twofold. The storm sewers here are infiltrating the sanitary sewers, and that ends up backing up, going into their homes. It's only been four years of enduring constant 100-year floods for Bobby Friend. It's taken its toll on his family too. You got to get professional cleanup crews in here to cost three, four, five thousand dollars in order to clean the basement up. Drywall destroyed. Everything has to be replaced. Washer and dryer. It's it's bad. North Ridgeville's mayor says he's visited Northfield Circle several times. We've lost several thousands of dollars worth of, of property due to sanitary backup. Uh, you're looking for help and assistance, and that's what we're trying to do. Northview Circle's condo association has had enough. We all went up to city council and said, "Look, you have to do something. Fix it. Whatever it is." But nothing has ever been done, and we threatened at that time to sue the city. Live on 5 in North Ridgeville, I'm Dave Arnold. Residents are banding together to get something done, threatening legal counsel to help pay for damages and property value loss. And Nita Morrison has handed out 500 flyers herself seeking support.